Hello, and thank you for joining us at Biotech Week Boston. I'm Alex Nicolaitis from BPI, and joining us is Jim Luxinger, VP of Business Development from Spectrum Manufacturing Corporation. Thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. So what are some of the challenges that the market is facing, and how is Spectrum Chemical helping to address these challenges? I mean, I think as everyone knows, before COVID-19 hit, the biopharmaceutical market was growing at a really strong pace. And then when COVID-19 uh, uh, came into the uh, uh, you know, into the world, uh, it just really tightened up the supply for materials using vaccine, vaccines, uh, recombinant proteins, and diagnostics. And so what was already a fairly tight supply chain just was, uh, uh, you know, uh, got even so much tighter because of COVID. And um, so I think the biggest issue is obviously uh, being able to understand where the shortages are, where the capacity issues are, and being able to handle that through better forecasting and working with your, with your suppliers. And the industry is still experiencing some supply chain challenges and disruptions. What is Spectrum Chemical doing to address this? Uh, what we've been trying to do, obviously, is bring in material based on firm orders and forecasts, like all of our you know, other, you know, other suppliers in this industry do. In addition, we're trying to identify where, the, where we see gaps in the future or capacity issues in the future, working with our suppliers of those similar products and bringing them in, bringing them in ahead of time and pretty much doing a risk sharing, right? Where we bring in extra material, not necessarily with a home, but with an understanding that in some time in the future, whether it's three, six or 12 months, we will need that product. So we bring it ahead of time and share that inventory risk so we can better serve our customers. And the biopharma industry has a lot of regulatory and compliance requirements. How can partnering with the right supplier help them meet the right requirements? It's enormous. Uh, regulatory is so important uh, for a supplier uh, to understand, again, how the, um, the chemicals being used by their customer, uh, understanding the GMPs in different parts of the world, under, understanding the different monographs that are required. Uh, so you really need to have a supplier that understands that in order to, uh, you know, uh, uh, launch your product without, with, let's say, um, minimal issues or delays. And what role does the quality control of raw materials play in biopharmaceutical development and production? Uh, that's pivotal. I mean, uh, really need to have suppliers who have strong lab, laboratory capabilities, testing capabilities, understand the different monographs and the science and art of those tests, uh, because there are you know, different monographs and different test methods. Actually, you know, obviously, you have some very unique issues that, that can come with them. Um, in addition, uh, you know, it's been said in the, market, in the industry over the years that they worry you know, that customers don't necessarily worry about what they test for, but they worry about everything else, what they don't test for. And so you really need to have a, a supplier who understands those issues and is able to, to, to work with you on them. And what can you tell us about Spectrum Chemicals BioCertified Quality Management System Chemicals? How is it unique? Well, it's definitely unique to Spectrum because historically Spectrum had I'd say 1,100 different GMP materials uh, of a variety of monographs. And if anything additional was needed, it was more of an a la carte menu. Uh, we'd add on additional specifications under, under custom code. Uh, what BioCertified has done is created our most fully tested uh, multi-compendial material with uh, bioburden and endotoxin uh, uh, included so that uh, if you need a high quality multi-compendial material, uh, with the fullest testing possible, then that would be biocertified. Uh, in addition, under the biocertified program, we have uh, certain uh, uh, branded suppliers that we're partnering with, uh, such as uh, uh, Angus for their Tris and Tris HCL products. In addition to um, uh, DFE, we just uh, uh, signed an agreement with them to work with them on their uh, uh, injectable grade sucrose and trailos, and also Mako, uh, Mako Organics out of the Czech Republic we've been working with for several years for their uh, high quality uh, uh, injectable grade uh, inorganics. In, in, a, in addition to BioCertified, what are some of the other things Spectrum Chemical is working on to serve Biopharma? Well, for the last five years, we've been uh, optimizing our processes, seeing where we have gaps and where we can improve on those gaps. Uh, in addition, we have upgraded our web presence uh, with a new web platform, e-commerce e -commerce platform, uh, in addition to beginning to end, uh, improving on our forecasting, material handling uh, to better serve the market. And how can drug makers and suppliers work together more effectively to bring products in market, to market faster while meeting quality and compliance requirements? Openness, transparency, it's so important if you have a new project as a biopharmaceutical manufacturer that you get 
in contact with your suppliers as soon as possible so they understand the specifications, the intended use of the materials, and where it's going to be sold or, and or the final product is going to be used. Um, because if you don't share that kind of information in, in addition to even a broad forecast, right? It doesn't have to be exact, but any kind of forecast and packaging, uh, packaging issues or packaging needs, it's really important to get ahead of that because with such tightness in the market, if you don't do that, you could have an issue with, uh, with not having material available at the time you need it. Well, thank you so much, Jim. That was very fascinating. And thank you for joining us. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.